guys doing? This is very important in reference to sex crimes in America and the way the government rapes men, the way they rape women, and the type of technology they use to cover it up, such as uh, vaginal tighteners, which is, uh, if you look on YouTube, you'll see in reference to the way they tighten vagin, or vagin, <laughs> they mess my mouth, the way they tighten vaginas, and the way they try to tighten uh, people's assholes after they've raped them. There's a uh, technology that's in the medical industry that the government uses when they've knocked people out for days, they've sexually assaulted them, they've raped their uh, vaginas or they've raped their assholes or the way they steal penises, the way they have done these things, cutting off people's penises or cutting open people's penises and stealing, you know, sections and more sections and more sections. It's all attempts to murder. And if the medical industry is covering it up anywhere in this country, those medical people can be put on trial for murder. And they can face execution. Reverence to any uh, medical people covering up penis thefts, uh, vaginal rape, and then covering it up, or anal rape, and then covering it up. All medical people involved can get prosecuted for the death penalty in America in reverence to their involvement and their actions and activities in America, such as political people raping other people's children, political people trying to rape me, political people disrespecting my unique qualities of my anatomy. And, you know, my anatomy is documented in the Royal Protocol. The reason it's there is because they knew these people would try to do things. And they knew government would try to steal the estates of my parents. So the document is there for a lot of reasons. Factual reasons. Important reasons. These people don't own what they're trying to steal. I'm the owner. My parents, grandparents worked and bought things. Built the companies. They built them up. They constructed more. They employed more. They paid more in the history of company growth. The activity of government people and their accusations because they came into this country later than other people. Like old money history outranks new money history, you know. Don't forget that. So, you know, in reference to the activity of, like, for instance, say, for instance, somebody was a landowner and then somebody came into money and the landowner was happy with their land and they didn't want to sell it. But then somebody else came into money and tried to murder them off to steal their land. Or they fabricated that they had money to buy something. And then they murdered off landowners. That's treason. But anyways, back to the point of political people. And dirty cops, dirty drug enforcement agents. That make up suspicions to rape people. To sexually assault people. To taser. And to be knocking them out. And their activity of raping them. Physically groping them. It's nasty the things these drug enforcement agents make up in their racism rape. Now, don't forget, these people are not the same race as other people. Usually the people that are, that are raping them are not the same race <coughs> as the person that they're raping, <coughs> what these government people do. And they're not the same class or the same wealth or the same family history. Like, for instance, these people have held me hostage and tried to rape me. Because they knew they'd get arrested in certain other neighborhoods from their previous history. Or maybe some of them had lived in certain neighborhoods and then they got thrown out of those neighborhoods because of their criminal background or their perverse activities. It's tempted murder. Reference to the government trying to hold me hostage in a poor neighborhood. All people in this country that are in uh, government are required to know information about you know, who my parents are, what class I come from. So they can recognize the information of saying, hey, wait a minute, why is he in that small house? Uh-oh, somebody's stealing his money. Oh, why is he in that small house? Oh, wait a minute, somebody's making up shit on him or holding him hostage. Or wait a minute, somebody's accusing him of something. And they kidnapped him from his properties. Now, don't forget, back to the point of pervert gay government. Some of these men are very violent gay men. 
And some of them are politicians that dress up and they wear disguises to rape people in America and in Indiana. And there's medical people that dress up and they try to rape people in Indiana. Do you understand that? And it's sex crimes in the nastiest fucking way. And then they use these technologies to sew up vaginas or they, they try to close up a vagina or they try to where it's they try to tighten up a vagina to where you know it's unhealthy for a person that has a vagina or it's unhealthy for them to be messing with people's bodies in any way you know or them stealing a person's penis because dirty politician man feels inferior when dirty politician man got into government without having a big penis which nobody gives a fuck about the size of a politician's dick they just care about their ethnicity and race and whether they have a legal right being in government. And if they got into government and the fact that they wouldn't step down based on the wrongdoing that they have been caught doing, that's treason and criminal mischief of politicians and government. But make sure you understand that these rapists and their crimes of sexually assaulting me their activity of trying to sew up vaginas, their activity of trying to steal penises, these people and their sexual mutilations of people's faces and teeth is treason. No matter what these fucking dirty motherfuckers say, they have to get prosecuted for what they've done to me. It's 100% attempts of murder. I don't like any of them. I'm not friends with any of them. And I have royal diplomatic immunity too. So, you know, I fucking outrank these people. And my parents owned more land in America than these people. And they must get prosecuted for trying to steal my land and my identity and my companies and revenues and trust funds and lawsuit monies and insurance monies. These people have even tried to rape me on jobs. And they must get prosecuted for not paying me uh, monies in reference to the abuses, the insurance, the sexual assault, men trying to rape me and in jobs where I've worked at on the north side of town and the east side or wherever, just, you know, different places. And they must get prosecuted every time. Where they have shot at me because they were trying to cover up that they were stealing from me, or they shot at me because they tried to rape me. And don't forget, I have the status as a male and a female. 100% on both sides. Don't forget that, motherfuckers. And people need to get prosecuted for their goddamn crimes and for tucking up my penis. I'm not your child. I'm not your property. And these government men that go around tucking up penises, their DNA has to get checked in the courtroom to see if they've been trying to tuck up people's penises because they're jealous, hateful, or racist. Or they're trying to play their stereotypical fucking beliefs. Claiming they they thought they had bigger dicks than everybody else, so they thought they'd try to steal other men's penises, or they thought they'd try to tuck up my penis. Those men have to get prosecuted for their sex crimes, no fucking matter what, whoever the fuck they are. And they'll say, well, they thought your dick was showing out in public. It's never shown out in public. No, you're a fucking liar. And you must get prosecuted for looking under people's clothes with goddamn satellites and then forgetting that you were looking under their clothes with your fucking satellite shit.